Welcome to the Old Puff channel. Hello my little babies and welcome back to another Madness of Truth time. This is episode 5, The Zodiac Killer. As some of you are well known, this is a big unsolved case in the US. But if you're unaware of this case, we're going to get into this quite soon. But with every one of these videos, viewer discretion is advised. And if you are easily feared by this stuff, please click off now. But if not, let's get on with the rest of the video. The Zodiac Killings are an unsolved US murder case. And it has been unsolved for over 50 years. So we are going to be delving into who is the Zodiac Killer. On the 20th of December 1968 in California, unfortunately, a 16-year-old and 17-year-old David and Betty were shot and killed while they were sitting in a parked car off Lake Herman Road. Betty's body was found 30 feet away from the car while David was hanging on for dear life when the police came. Unfortunately, David didn't make it to the hospital. And back in the 60s, this was very uncommon because random shootings weren't a thing then. And the police couldn't tie in any evidence against who would commit a heinous crime towards these two teenagers for no reason. So it became a cold case. Cut six months later, on July the 4th, 1969, the mother of Darlene happened. What makes the Zodiac Killer so different from any other killers is he doesn't seem to have a motive on killing, apart from the joy of it. The Zodiac Killer is definitely very smart and very genius in how he does his killings. He does it fast and unknown to the Zodiac Killer. Michael actually did survive and at the hospital he gives a description of what the Zodiac Killer looks like as you'll see now. Police got a mysterious phone call of a person claiming to be the Zodiac Killer and Right after this phone call, letters were posted to the station and to local newspapers where they would go into great detail of what happened that only this killer would know about. And all these letters were signed by this weird symbol that you'll see on screen, but it wasn't just these symbols, it was also these symbols as well. The Zodiac Killer definitely was teasing the police officers by saying, if you can solve this, then you know who I am. Unfortunately, a couple did uncode the uncodable. And it said that the killer found it fun to kill humans because it brought him so much joy. But the Zodiac Killer never actually put his name in this, so the police couldn't do anything. But another murder happened of Cecilia Shepherd and Brian. Cecilia died on her way to hospital, but Brian survived. And once again, he gave a description of the serial killer, but with brown hair instead of blonde. And once again, the police were called by the so-called serial killer. And later followed soon after that, once again. I believe this happened later on that day. A man got into a cab and shot the taxi driver dead. And the woman who was in the car facing him called the police, like, you need to get here. Somebody just died in front of my eyes. She gave a description, the guy had curly ginger hair. 
So as police were going past, they put up a man who fit a description and asked if they'd seen anything suspicious. And the man said, oh yes, i just seen that guy run past that way. And the police get a letter informing them in great detail what happened that night and that day. And he literally said, you could have caught me, but you didn't. There was several other things. He did threaten to go and kill children for no reason. And then all of a sudden the phone calls and letters went quiet. And the police were sent the last ever letter. Where the Zodiac Killer pretty much remitted on killing 37 people and making it look like an accident. And some say that the Zodiac Killer is dead. My opinion and what do I think in the matter, I really find that the Zodiac Killer has found a wife, settled down, has grandchildren since it has been 50 years since the first killing. And he's just staying quiet and probably waiting for his next big comeback. The Zodiac Killer is definitely a genius because somehow he managed to stay out of being found. He escapes multiple times and I'm pretty sure he must have had a lot of money to get hair dyed in that day. Well, that's all for today's video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, please comment if you think that your granddad might be the most well-known serial killer on the planet. And please comment a case that I should do next in the next episode of Madness of True Crime. Also, please share me out to friends and family. And if you want to join me in outer space, please consider on subscribing to my YouTube channel since it is free. And remember, you're awesome and mama loves you. Bye-bye.